So what's the big idea about cloud computing? To understand it, you have to go back a ways, a long ways. Ever since people have had stuff, they've had to figure out ways of tracking it. Counting on fingers didn't get you very far, so 5,000 years ago, they invented the abacus. And while abacuses could tally up big numbers, they had their limitations. Enter the calculator. So it could tell you how much stuff you had, but it couldn't hold your music collection, your vacation pictures, your funniest home videos, your encyclopedia, or the yellow pages. But before long, the personal computer could do all that. And now that you had a place to put all your stuff, you got more and more and more of it. Soon, your computer couldn't handle everything you wanted to cram in. So where do you look for an answer? The clouds. Well, not literally. The cloud is actually a bunch of giant internet hard drives or servers where you can store all of your stuff. So instead of filling up your computer with all your documents, you upload them to these servers. Any one of them has enough space to hold every book ever written. And there are millions of servers. And whether you know it or not, you're probably using the cloud already. All those emails you write and receive, they're stored for you, all of them, on your mail provider servers. That's the cloud, and you're on it. So there you have it, 5,000 year history of cloud computing in 90 seconds. To find out more about the origins of all things amazing and how it all affects you, from quantum physics to augmented reality to nanomedicine, check out The Big Idea, How Breakthroughs of the Past Shape the Future, available wherever books are sold.